Hi, and thanks very much for taking the time to just read up a little bit more about uh, my new MCAT course for MCAT 2015, specializing in critical reasoning and analytical skills. I'm so thankful, so grateful that you would take a few minutes just to learn more about the CARS course. And in this video, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you a little bit about what's inside the course, just to give you an idea about what to expect. I want to walk you through the uh, table of contents, and then I want to take a couple of minutes and just show you some sample videos so you can get a really good sense of what it is that I'm talking about and what my uh, co-creator, Kevin DeLaPlante, and I, how we discuss MCAT and the car section specifically so you can get like a first-hand experience of what that's like uh, to help you make a decision about whether or not you want to purchase the course. Okay, so here we are right on the MCAT course members dashboard or the members welcome page. As you can see, there's a welcome message that I've written for you guys. And then below the welcome message, you're also going to see instructions for how to use the course. And it's basically in two parts. The first part is this PDF guide. It's a very substantial guide that walks you through all the parts of the course. And then my video library, where we actually get into, you know, a lot of details about the course itself. As you can see, you specifically go through all the different areas of the course, starting with the video introduction, all of Kevin's lectures on the basics of cars logic. And then we get into some specific passages where Kevin and I literally go step by step using the techniques that we talk about, debating the different test questions, answer choices, how the passages are structured so that you can follow along and do that with us. And then we get into more involved passages. There's a passage called the Killing versus Letting Die passage, the Big Bang passage, then ultimately the First Amendment passage. And we have all those passages included in the big PDF guide for the course. So as you can see, you really get a lot of uh, very specific, very detailed, thorough, and highly practical discussion regarding uh, how to apply these new techniques, these new strategies to this new section of the MCAT. Okay, so that's the overview, a little bit of what's inside uh, the CARS course. Now, let me go ahead just a couple minutes and play one or two videos for you so that you can see for yourself uh, what the value is of uh, the course. And the first video I want to play for you is the what to expect from the cars section of the course. It'll be helpful to remind ourselves what this new section of the test is trying to accomplish. The guide says that the questions in this section will help to identify students with the critical analysis and reasoning skills that are needed for success in medical school. Now this sounds fine, but this may give rise to some confusion when you see this. Quote, the CARS section achieves this goal by asking you to read and think about passages from a wide range of disciplines in the social sciences and humanities. So they're talking about passages taken from published works in philosophy, psychology, sociology, anthropology, history, literature, religious studies, the sort of thing you might encounter in a college course on, those, on these subjects. Now they say they're relatively short, but the typical passage is between 500, 600 words. So these aren't just passages, they're mini essays. There'll be 10 of these passages, each with between five and seven questions each for a total of 60 questions for the whole section. Okay, and as you can see from that um, first video, you know, we do a really thorough job of introducing you to uh, MCAT and specifically the CARS section of the MCAT and how it's different from the old version of the MCAT. So now that that's done, let me go ahead and take you into one of my favorite parts, which is one of the discussions that Kevin and I had regarding the different passages um, so that you can get a sense for yourself just what that discussion sounds like and you can see it for yourself to, to determine whether or not this course is right for you. And let's talk next about uh, killing versus letting die. That's the second passage in here. And um, it's a passage about uh, euthanasia. Um, and as I understand it, this is about, um, you know, active versus passive use in Asia. This is not about young people in any, uh, continents anywhere. No, no, it doesn't. <sighs> really sorry. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Get it? Uh, youth in Asia? Yeah. Get I, it? Oh God. All right. So. All you kids. <laughs> uh, number one, uh, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go find the passage, but now you should have it printed out. Re go read the passage, identify the, the passage, the the big chunks, right? The thesis, uh, main points in the passage, and the obvious transitions the author is making, any conclusion that you find. 
then go through, look at the test questions. There are five questions. Go through them all. Do your process of elimination. Uh, POE, the test questions and answer choices. And then come back and we're going to pick it up. And we're going to start with the, uh, the test questions and answer choices directly. And we're going to walk you through uh, those uh, answers and uh, guide you, give you kind of a, a video-based annotation. Okay, go. Okay, and so as you can see, we've done a really thorough job of introducing you to the critical reasoning and the analytical skills that you'll need uh, for the MCAT car section, and then also walking you through some very practical examples so you know exactly what to, to expect and how to approach the new MCAT. So I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough. Uh, if you find that uh, the CARS course is something that would be of value to you, I strongly recommend that you scroll down below, uh, click the enrollment link, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks very much.